subscribe our channel if you like our video please share it with your friends you can also click the bell icon to get the notifications While blue is one of the most popular colors, it is one of the least appetizing. Food researchers say that when humans searched for food, they learned to avoid toxic or spoiled objects, which were often blue, black or purple. When food dyed blue is served to study subjects, they lose appetite. When countries assess their annual carbon emissions, they count up their cars and power stations, but bush fires are not included, presumably because they are deemed to be events beyond human control. In Australia, Victoria alone sees several hundred thousand hectares burn each year. In both 2004 and more recently, the figure has been over 1 million hectares. Tesla's theoretical work formed the basis of modern alternating current electric power systems. Thomas Edison promised him almost $1 million in today's money to undertake motor and generator improvement. However, when Tesla, the ethical Serb, asked about the money, Edison's reportedly reply was Tesla, you don't understand our American humor. The pair became our rivals.
The core of the problem was the immense disparity between the country's productive capacity and the ability of people to consume. Great innovations in productive techniques during and after the war raised the output of industry beyond the purchasing capacity of U.S. farmers and wage earners. Although it hails from a remote region of the western Himalayas, this plant now looks entirely at home on the banks of English rivers, and colonized river banks and damp woodlands. In the Himalayas the plant is held in check by various pests, but take these away and it grows and reproduces unhindered. Now it is spreading across Europe, New Zealand, Canada and the US. Pluto lost its official status when the International Astronomical Union downsized the solar system from nine to eight planets. Although there had been passionate debate at the General Assembly meeting in Prague about the definition of a planet, and whether Pluto met the specifications, the audience greeted the decision to exclude it with applause. At the beginning of each fiscal year funds are allocated to each state account in accordance with the university's financial plan. Funds are allocated to each account by object of expenditure. Account managers are responsible for ensuring that adequate funds are available in the appropriate object before initiating transactions to use the funds.
Lincoln's apparently radical change of mind about his war powers to emancipate slaves was caused by the escalating scope of the war, which convinced him that any measure to weaken the Confederacy and strengthen the Union war effort was justifiable as a military necessity. A young man from a small provincial town, a man without independent wealth, without powerful family connections and without a university education, moves to London in the 1580s, and becomes a remarkable playwright of all time. How is an achievement of magnitude made? How does Shakespeare become Shakespeare? domestication is an evolutionary, rather than a political development. They were more likely to survive and prosper in an alliance with humans than on their own. Humans provided the animals with food and protection, in exchange for which the animals provided the humans their milk and eggs and, yes, their flesh. Akimbo, this must be one of the odder looking words in the language and puzzles us in part because it doesn't seem to have any relatives. What's more, it is now virtually a fossil word, until recently almost invariably found. In arms akimbo, a posture in which a person stands with hands on hips and elbows sharply bent outward, one signaling impatience or hostility.
yellow is considered as the most optimistic color, yet surprisingly, people lose their tempers most often in yellow rooms and babies will cry more. The reason may be that yellow is the hardest color for eyes to take in, so, it can be overpowering if overused. The elephant is the largest living land mammal. During evolution, its skeleton has greatly altered from the usual mammal, designed for two main reasons. One is to cope with the great weight of huge grinding cheek teeth and elongated tusk, making the skull particularly massive. The other is to support the enormous bulk of such a huge body. The situation is similar to a pregnant woman that has twin babies in her belly, says Avi Loeb of the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics. He is proposing the idea in a paper that's been accepted for publication in the Astrophysical Journal Letters. Few things in the world produce such amazement as one's first glimpse of the Grand Canyon, it took around more than two billion years to create this vast wonder in some places. Seventeen miles wide, largely through the relentless force of the Colorado River, which runs 277 miles along its length and a mile beneath its towering rims.
global warming is defined as an increase in the average temperature of the Earth's atmosphere. This trend began in the middle of the 20th century and is one of the major environmental concerns of scientists and governmental officials worldwide. The changes in temperature result mostly from the effect of increased concentrations of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. There are perhaps three ways of looking at furniture, some people see it as purely functional and useful, and don't bother themselves with aesthetics, others see it as essential to civilized living and concern themselves with design and how the furniture will look in a room. In other words, function combined with aesthetics, and yet others see furniture as a form of art. Modern buildings have to achieve certain performance requirements, at least to satisfy those of building codes, to provide a safe, healthy, and comfortable environment. However, these conditioned environments demand resources in energy and materials, which are both limited in supply, to build and operate. As a historian, if you really want to understand the sensibilities of those who lived in the past, you must be like a novelist and get into the skins of your characters and think and feel as they do. You are asked to imagine what it's like to be a peasant in medieval times, asking the sort of questions a peasant might ask. What the writer is saying is that a historian needs imaginative sympathy with ordinary people in the past.
humans need to use energy in order to exist. So it is unsurprising that the way people have been producing energy is largely responsible for current environmental problems. Pollution comes in many forms, but those that are most concerning, because of their impact on health, result from the combustion of fuels in power, stations and cars. The border itself between Mexico and United States is fraught with a mix of urban and desert terrain and spans over 1,900 miles. Both the uninhabited areas of the border and urban areas are where the most drug trafficking and illegal crossings take place. Crime is prevalent in urban cities like El Paso, Texas and San Diego, California. Researchers think that long-distance flyers such as the American Golden Plover and the White Rumped Sandpiper picked up the spores while lining their nests. Then when the birds arrive in new places they molt, leaving behind the feathers and their precious cargo to start growing again at the other end of the world. Moods may also have an effect on how information is processed, by influencing the extent to which judges rely on pre-existing, internal information, or focus on new, external information. Positive moods promote more holistic and top-down processing style, while negative moods recruit more stimulus-driven and bottom-up processing.
It's not that human activities didn't impact wildlife at all of course. Heavily hunted species, like white-tailed deer, gray squirrels, and raccoons, were photographed somewhat less often in hunted areas. Coyotes showed up more often in hunted areas. While most species didn't avoid hiking trails, the predators actually preferred them. Trade unions originated in Europe during the Industrial Revolution. Because of the machinery that had become commonplace, skilled labor became less in demand so employers had nearly all of the bargaining power. Employers mistreated the workers and paid them too little for the work they did. Trade unions were organized. That would help in the improvement of working conditions. The brain is divided into two hemispheres, called the left and the right hemispheres. Each hemisphere provides a different set of functions, behaviors, and controls. The right hemisphere is often called the creative side of the brain, while the left hemisphere is the logical or analytic side of the brain. The right hemisphere controls the left side of the body, and the left hemisphere controls the right side. Introvert, or those of us with introverted tendencies, tends to recharge by spending time alone. They lose energy from being around people for long periods of time, particularly large crowds. Extroverts, on the other hand, gain energy from other people. Extroverts actually find their energy is sapped when they spend too much time alone. They recharge by being social.
Such cross-protection is usually seen between two animals. But Gore studies the same sort of mutualism in microbes. He and his team demonstrated the first experimental example of that cross-protective relationship in drug-resistant microbes, using two strains of antibiotic-resistant E. coli bacteria, one resistant to ampicillin, the other to chloramphenicol. Botanic gardens are scientific and cultural institutions established to collect, study, exchange, and display plants. For research and for the education and enjoyment of the public. There are major botanic gardens in each capital. City. Zoological parks and aquariums are primarily engaged in the breeding, preservation, and display of native and exotic fauna in captivity. Augustus was given the powers of an absolute monarch, but he presented himself as the preserver of republican traditions. He treated the Senate, or State Council, with great respect, and was made consul year after year. He successfully reduced the political power of the army by retiring many soldiers, but giving them land or money to keep their loyalty. As to the Industrial Revolution, one cannot dispute today the fact that it has succeeded in inaugurating in a number of countries a level of mass prosperity which was undreamt of in the days preceding the Industrial Revolution. But, on the immediate impact of Industrial Revolution, there were substantial divergences among writers.
Two sisters were at a dinner party when the conversation turned to upbringing. The elder sister started to say that her parents had been very strict and that she had been rather frightened of them. Her sister, younger by two years, interrupted in amazement. What are you talking about? She said, our parents were very lenient. The uniquely scented flavor of vanilla is second only to chocolate in popularity on the world's palate. It's also the second most expensive spice after saffron. But highly labor-intensive cultivation methods and the plant's temperamental life cycle and propagation mean production on a global scale is struggling to keep up with the increasing demand for the product. In classes, your teachers will talk about topics that you are studying. The information that they provide will be important to know when you take tests. You must be able to take good written notes from what your teacher says. It isn't rare for private equity houses to hire graduates fresh out of business schools, but nine times out of ten, the students who nab these jobs are the ones who had private equity experience before even starting their MBA program.
This book is no ordinary book and should not be read through from beginning to end. It contains many different adventures, and the path you take will depend on the choices you make along the way. The success or failure of your mission will hinge on the decisions you make, so think carefully before choosing. Exhilarating, exhausting and intense. There are just some of the words used to describe doing an MBA. Everyone's experience of doing MBA is, of course, different through denying that it's hard and a demanding. Work whichever course you do. MBA is one of the fastest growing areas of studying in the UK so that there must be a sustainable benefit to be gained from such pain. Legal writing is usually less discursive than writing in other humanities subjects, and precision is more important than variety. Sentence structure should not be too complex, it is usually unnecessary to make extensive use of adjectives or adverbs, and consistency of terms is often required. The semiconductor industry has been able to improve the performance of electronic systems for more than four decades by making ever smaller devices. However, this approach will soon encounter both scientific and technical limits, which is why the industry is exploring a number of alternative device technologies.
weakness in electronics, auto and gas station sales dragged down overall retail sales last month, but excluding those three categories, retailers enjoyed healthy increases across the board, according to government figures. Released Wednesday. Moreover, December sales numbers were also revised higher. The Japanese tea ceremony is a ritual tour influenced by Buddhism in which green tea is prepared and served to a small group of guests in a peaceful setting. The ceremony can take as long as four hours and there are many traditional gestures that both the server and the guest must perform. Long isolated from Western Europe, Russia grew up without participating in the development like the Reformation that many Europeans taking pride in their unique culture, find dubious value. Russia is, as a result, the most unusual member of European family, if indeed it is European at all. The question is still open to debate, particularly among Russians themselves. For any marketing course that requires the development of a marketing plan, such as marketing management, marketing strategy and principles of marketing, this is the only planning handbook that guides students through step-by-step -step creations of a customized marketing plan while offering commercial software to aid in the process.
the beginning of the 21st century will be remembered, not for military conflicts or political events, but for a whole new age of globalization, a flattening of the world. The explosion of advanced technologies now means that suddenly knowledge pools and resources have connected all over the planet, leveling the playing field as never before. Orientalists, like many other 19th century thinkers, conceive of humanity either in large collective terms or in abstract generalities. Orientalists are neither interested in nor capable of discussing individuals, instead, artificial entities predominate. Similarly, the age old distinction between Europe and Asia or Occident and Orient herds beneath very wide labels of every possible variety of human plurality reducing it in the process to one or two terminal collective abstractions. Hundreds of millions of American people eat fast food every day without giving it much thought, unaware of the subtle and not-so-subtle ramifications of their purchases. They just grasp a hamburger and unwrap it and toss the wrap into the bin. The whole experience is transitory and soon forgotten. Australians speak English of course. But for many tourists and even some locals, Australian English has only tenuous links with the mother tongue. Our speech is peppered with words and phrases whose arcane meanings are understood only by the native speaker. It is these colourful colloquialisms that Australian slang is yet to truly explain.
How quickly is the world's population growing? In the United States and other developed countries, the current growth rate is very low. In most developing countries, the human population is growing at a rate of three people per second. Because of this bustling growth rate, the human population is well on its way to reaching 9 billion within lifetime. The provision of accurate and authoritative statistical information strengthens our society. It provides a basis for decisions to be made on public policy, such as determining electoral boundaries and where to locate schools and hospitals. It allows businesses to know their market, grow their business, and improve their marketing strategies by targeting their activities appropriately. The preparation of abstracts is an intellectual effort, requiring general familiarity with the subject. To bring out the salient points of an author's argument calls for skill and experience. Consequently, a considerable amount of qualified manpower that could be used to advantage in other ways must be diverted to the task of facilitating access to information.